Hey everybody, Chris Bryant here. Thanks for taking a few minutes out of your day to watch and listen to this CCNA chat. And today it's actually a CCNA slash CSENT chat because what we're discussing is really the question I'm asked most often, whether it's in Twitter, email, the blog, what have you. And that is, should I take the one exam path or the two exam path to the CCNA? And this is a question you really have to answer before you even really get started studying. And there are a couple of different things to consider here. And the first one that I want to go over with you very quickly, if you know these numbers, hang in there. But having known or having seen people still talk about some of the old exam versions, I want to make sure that everyone knows that as of September 30th, 2013, uh, the older path to the CCNA is gone, and this is the current one. There's a one exam path. You take the CCNA 200-120 exam, you pass it, and you're CCNA. There's also a two exam path where you can take an ICNV-1 exam, which is coded 100-101, and that is the CSENT exam. Some people stop there, and there's nothing wrong with that, but I hope if you get your CSENT, you'll go on and get your full CCNA. And to do so, you would then need to take the ICND-2 200-101 exam. So the first question that I would ask, and that I think just about everyone else would ask is, financially, you know, is there a difference? Am I saving some dough going one way or the other? Well, not really. As of today, there's a $5 difference between the paths, and that can change. Exam costs can change over time, so you need to check with view.com and cisco.com and see what the current prices are for the exams. But I never expect there to be a big difference between one path or the other. It's not like you're going to save $150 by taking the single exam. It does not work like that. Uh, I'm certainly also not disparaging the importance of 5 bucks. I've been at positions in my life where $5 was a lot of money, and you've likely been there as well. Uh, but frankly and practically, you're going to spend that much on gas going to the testing center twice, unless you're walking to it. And even then, it's worth your time. So the financial cons excuse me, considerations, really not that big a deal. Now, I don't have this one on the screen, but I want to go back to these numbers because I'll see people say, well, are potential employers more impressed with one path or the other? You know, people will say, well, if I take the two exam path, I get a CSENT and a CCNA. But then again, if I take the one exam path, then, you know, they see that I got it all at one time and I'm a CCNA. Um, I'm guilty of this on occasion and other things, but this is what's called thinking too much. <laughs> that the, the potential employer is not going to care. They're not going to care if you took the two exam path or the one exam path. They just want to see that you're a CCNA. That is what counts. So you're thinking at this point, well, this is all fantastic. So what is that deciding factor? Well, in my experience, and I've been working with CCNA candidates now for just about a decade, and I've been working with CSENT candidates ever since that particular program started, the largest factor is really your level of comfort with the fundamentals of networking. Because when you take the one exam path, you are looking at a lot of information to study. And I don't mean to scare you about the exam or intimidate you, you know, but it's challenging. We want it to be challenging. We don't want anybody to just walk in off the street, look at a book for 10 minutes and say, okay, I got all this. Uh, because they're not going to have all this. It is a very challenging exam. That's what we want. And when you take the single exam, you are looking at a wide varying range of topics because you're looking at networking fundamentals such as you know, how does a switch operate, you know, how does it handle frames coming in, uh, how does Ethernet operate, what are the differences and similarities with networking models, that kind of thing. And you, then you've got hexadecimal conversions thrown in there and it goes all the way through OSPF, EIGRP, and a lot of access material and I didn't even put IP version 6 on here. IP version 6 is heavy in the ICND1 exam, too, if you're taking the two exam path. But when you're looking at a single exam, that's a lot of information. So that is definitely something to consider. If you're new to networking studies or networking as a whole, learning all of that for one exam can be daunting, to say the least. And it can be done. People do it every day. But the key is, if you are new to networking studies, it's my experience and the experience of my study, excuse me, my students over the last 10 years, that you're better off 
breaking it up into two exams. Again, you have to make the final decision which way you're going. Uh, there's no right or wrong answer, but I hope that will give you some guidance. And just get that little monkey off your back, get the question out of your head, and just charge forward and start nailing that exam and getting CCNA certified. Got some free tools here I want to tell you about, but very quickly, I want to thank you for making my CCNA success study guides on Amazon such a huge hit. You saw on the screen that that's been a number one bestseller, ICND1. And my three CCNA books are almost always in the top 10 in the networking section. And I'm the only author who can say that. And as a longtime budding writer, I'm very, very proud of that. And it is all due to you. You can see the ICND1 guide there. There's ICND2 coming in at number eight. And right now, my binary math book, which has 150 additional questions for you, is coming in at number 12. I thank you so much for that. Also, one more thing I wanted to show you there as far as that tutorials page, the free tutorials page. Can't quite see the whole thing, but this is the long-awaited new website that is launching in March of 2014. You will actually be able to search and find things, because I know that's a little tough on the current website, believe me. Uh, I'm not oblivious to that. But what we've got there are literally hundreds of free tutorials and videos for you. You can also find free practice exams daily on the blog. And on YouTube, hundreds of videos, new playlists for the new CCNA exams, all kinds of great stuff. And I hope you'll check all that out. Thank you so much for participating in today's CCNA chat. I'm Chris Bryant. Always be passing and always accept my thanks for making TBA part of your success story.